What's going on guys? It's time for one of my favorite videos of the year. I'm going to take all of these Tim Hortons hockey cards and build a team in NHL 24 franchise mode using the players we pull. At this point, this video is definitely a yearly tradition. As you guys can see here, I've actually got nine packs in total. Uh, there's three cards in each pack, so hopefully not too many duplicates. 27 cards will be enough. So first pack here, guys, I'm going to open up for you. I'm going to try and um, open it up in front of the camera there. Ooh, I see we already got a very good uh, first player, but um, as you guys can see, Jason Robertson. Uh, next up, Superstar Showcase, Patrice Bergeron. Um, I think that's one of like the, you know, not regular cards. And then we got a base Morgan Riley. So um, Bergeron, unfortunately, actually isn't in the game anymore. He's retired. Next pack here, guys, another solid defenseman. That's definitely gonna help out the team. I'm um, sorry, I'm trying to open these up without messing them up. Uh, first card, Igor Shosturkin. So we got a very good goalie. Ooh, what is this? Patrick Laine, Hockey Triumphs. That's a sick card, the silver there. Um, it's almost coming up like blue, I think, because it's reflecting off the lights. And then uh, final card there, the defenseman I mentioned, Dougie Hamilton. All right, guys, next pack here. I'm probably opening this up terribly. Um, okay, so first time we get a Canuck in Quinn Hughes, another very good defenseman. Ooh, that's a sharp looking card. Uh, John Gibson, net keepers. So again, this is like our rare one or whatever. That looks really cool. That also gets the goalie, I just realized. We didn't have a goalie yet. And then uh, lastly, we actually get a former Canuck there. And Bo Horvat. So some good players so far, but still no, you know, superstar, no McDavid, McKinnon, Crosby. Are you kidding me? As I say that, oh my goodness, I gotta show you guys. This is literally what I looked at as I opened that up. We get Nathan McKinnon. So there's our superstar. Let's go. Um, we also get a Zibanejad here. Hopefully I can show you guys. And lastly, we get another one of these superstar showcase cards in Cole Caulfield. Very cool. All right, guys, we got Nathan McKinnon. We'd love to get his Cole Harbor buddy and Crosby. Both of them, you know, do stuff with Tim Hortons. So it'd be pretty fitting, I think, for the Tim Hortons team. Um, we'll see. First card here. Is that Crosby? Oh, it's Malkin. I was going to say, are you kidding me? McKinnon and Crosby. Back-to-back -back packs. What is that? In Motion Phenoms, Kent Johnson. That is a sick card. I'm honestly not sure the value of any of these, I think. Unless it's like the one certain card um, every year, you're not going to be worth too much. Probably no more than like 20 bucks. Uh, Barkov there as well. So pretty good, you know, two way forward. All right, guys, next pack here. So far, like we're looking pretty good. We do only have one goalie, uh, which could be concerned. I think we only get one goalie. We just have to put in like the worst free agent goalie we can find. Are you sure about that? Um, so this first card, Claude Giroux, really good face off taker. Ooh, Nikita Kucherov, talking about superstars. This is a point leaders card for the 2022-2023 season, 113 points. Very nice. And then finally, another very good defenseman, Roman Yossi. Our defense can be solid. Now this is the third last pack, guys. We'll do a dry saddle three. I have people ask me all the time what that's for. Basically, that's how he held up the number three um, after he got drafted. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I think it's just a base card. Geez, sometimes the cards, they just get stuck in these packs. So we got Darcy Kemper here. He's actually rocking uh, the Washington Capitals Eagle jersey. Also, too, that gives us our two jerseys. The heart of the cards, the pack gods hurt us. Heart of the cards, guide me. Next here... Matthew Shane, Hockey Triumphs. Um, it's a very nice looking card. I like the silver. Again, I don't know how well it's coming up silver in the camera for you guys, but it's a cool card. And then finally here, uh, we got Zach Hyman. We'd love to get his line mate, McDavid. We'll see. So we only got a couple more packs here, guys. I think so far we can like already feel the team because seven packs, 21 cards. We had no duplicates. We got two goalies. So at this point, it's just, you know, bonus players. Ooh. And I already seen uh, one. I'll let you guys see him last. Uh, Kopitar there, another really good two-way player. Ooh, is that another McKinnon? Oh, it's a Kale McCarr. Let's go. We got the cover boy, Kale McCarr, showcase. So our defense is absolutely stacked. Him, Hughes, Yossi. And then this is the guy who I saw. It's just a base card. But in terms of the team, Austin Matthews can be on that first line, McKinnon. That's going to be deadly. And now final pack here, guys. In terms of any cards worth some money, I don't think we did too good. But uh, the team itself, I think, is going to be very solid. So here we go. Let's see. Last pack here. We get Patty Kane. Rangers jersey, so like Bergeron on a team, but he actually is in the game. Final special card, don't tell me, is that? Oh, I thought for a second it was Crosby. Another hockey triumphs though, we get Jake Gensel. So we got him and Malkin, no Sid. And then finally there, we get Dylan Cousins. So I think we did pretty good in terms of like, the players are gonna be on this team. Again, probably lost money on the pack, but that's all right. I'll uh, we'll show you guys the team looks like next in game. All right guys, so here's the team I created in game. We got the Hamilton, Tim Hortons. I mentioned this before, but Hamilton was the first city to ever get a Tim Hortons. Top players there, McKinnon, Makar, Kucherov. Arena there is the Timmy's Arena. And now in terms of divisions, guys, I made a 33 team custom league and added Hamilton here to the Atlantic Division. As you can see, they're 99 overall. So we pretty much should be guaranteed to make the playoffs. And 
really should be almost guaranteed a Stanley Cup. And on next year, guys, I'll show the lines for this team. Again, we're so, so stacked. Uh, the first line there is just unbelievable. Kucherov, Matthews, McKinnon, all 94. McKinnon's actually 95, plus they get a plus four. So they're playing like 98s and 99s. Ridiculous. Second line there is Zibanejad, Barkov, Robertson. They get a plus three. Gensel, Kopitar, Malkin get a plus five. Fourth line even, Line Giroux, Horvat also get a plus five. The fact that like the entire top six is 90 plus. Chemistry is so, so good. Defensively here, Yossi Makar, arguably, you know, the best left-hand defenseman, playing with the best right-hand defenseman on our top pair. Somehow only get a plus one chem. I don't quite understand that, but honestly, they're so good. It'll be fine. Even the second pairing there, Quinn Hughes, Dougie Hamilton. Bottom pair, you got Hyman as a defenseman. He's right-handed. He's on the right side. A90 awareness. Pretty quick. Hopefully, that works out. Uh, Morgan Riley there playing with him. In terms of the goal tightening, I totally forgot. We had Chesterkin in the packs. I thought I just had Kemper Gibson. So, uh, Chesterkin there's our starter. We got a very good goalie. Um, power play one is literally just our starting lineup because it's that good. Why not? Power play two here also looks very solid. Um, in terms of the PK, I feel like that first PK unit just a total shutdown. Even PK two is Jeroen Horvat. Third one isn't that bad either. Um, as I mentioned, guys, with goaltenders, we've also got John Gibson. So, He's in the AHL there. I figured we'd throw the extras down there. So we've also got Ken Johnson, Dylan Cousins, Cole Caulfield, a young gun line. Uh, they didn't quite make the team. Uh, Kane, I figured, isn't actually an NHL team right now, so makes sense for him not to make it. And then Matthew Shane, their 85, was actually the lowest rated forward. And next, you guys, before we get started with the sim, I'll show the team rating as well as the jerseys. Also, you can see we're currently 6 to 1 in the preseason. Uh, Kucherov there averaging almost two points per game. Surprised we actually lost a game in the preseason. Looks like the Lightning there beat us 3 to 2. So um, again, I'll show you the jerseys. Pretty similar, I think. Uh, the jerseys I've made in the past. Obviously, I try to use like the Tim Hortons colors there with the beige, brown, and red. So, right there, you have a look at the home jersey being worn by Nathan McKinnon, which again, very cool because actually, you know, worked for Tim Hortons in certain like, you know, promotional videos, things like that with Sid. The away jersey there, I'm not sure how much I feel about that. The beige is so close to the white, but it is what it is. It almost looks kind of like a variation of the Red Wings away jersey. And then the alternate there is the all brown, which I think is pretty sharp. And then finally, you guys can see the ratings 100 offense and defense with 95 goal attendance. So, yeah, uh, cover bust for this team for sure. Let's see if they can pull it off. All right, guys, for the end of the season, I have a record of 59, 18, and 5. And I'm honestly shocked this team couldn't put up 60 wins, 99 overall. They still did have 123 points, which did win them the President's Trophy. But I don't know. I think, you know, 99 overall team, they can't get 60 wins. How do you expect it to get 60? Um, McKinnon there was leading scorer at 95 points. I guess, quick with the HL team, they missed the playoffs. They had six NHL players added to them. They still missed. Now, in fairness to them, they were an HL team to start. I think AIK plays in the second Swedish league, so kind of makes sense i guess uh you can see like those guys all did the best and the next best player gringe at 33 points you can see yeah only a 71 overall uh let's see john gibson here he actually played decently but i guess it just shows the team needed more depth nhl wise so Sturkin here only a 901 with like the probably the best defense you could have in front of him aside from obviously hyman playing d that's shocking to see honestly uh, mckinnon there 95 kutra 90 matthews 85 so the first line all had over point per game really with how good those guys are, they should have all had over 100 points, but um, it is what it is. McCart, 75. That's pretty good, I think, for D-Man. 69 assists. Nice. Robertson, 74. Yossi at 64. He should have done even better. Malikin's advantage at 50+. plus. So, I mean, overall, yeah, like, this team did about what I expected, but still not quite as good. I'd say they did, you know, 75% as good as I thought they would. Um, entire league there. McDavid on the Oilers, 108 points. Tyler Panarin. You got Sid at 102. Uh, Kucherov, that's not even our Kucherov. Lowest on the page there is Robertson with 96. So uh, McKinnon, our top scorer, didn't even make the top page, which is kind of crazy. Most goals there. Kucherov on the Lightning at 60. Defensive scoring here. Fox there at 94. Kamlikar on the Avs put up 93, and our team put up 75. Like, makes no sense to me. He's playing with Yossi. Really interesting results here. Uh, goal tightening, Yorgi most wins. Save percentage for a starter looks to be Yorgi as well, the 918. So pretty much lock here to get the Vesna trophy yeah you also had low schools again so probably win the William Jennings too rookie skaters here Connor Bedard popped off 90 points out of the Blackhawks and so on the first round here guys we got the Ottawa Senators I'm just gonna send the whole thing if we don't make it out of the first round okay we're up two we're up three we sweep the Senators okay I was gonna say there's at least you know some justice in the playoffs sim 9-9 overall team uh should not be losing there the Ottawa Senators we now have the Panthers in round two Panthers I mean are probably about equal in my opinion to the Ottawa Senators this year and we do beat the Panthers there. Uh, we actually beat them in six. Next to the Capitals, who I think are actually a worse team than the last two. Uh, we'll send the first few games. 3-2 OT win. The Panthers also took us um, to OT quite a bit. Both of our losses to the Panthers were in OT. And we actually had two OT wins. And the Capitals, every single game so far has gone to OT. We've won two, lost one. I can't believe these games are so close. 
They finally beat us in regulation. So it's actually a 2-2 series now, which is insane. We lose again. Are the Capitals going to beat the 9 overall team in the conference final? Here we go. Wow. Okay, so we're going to game seven. Do or die at home in Hamilton. And we beat the Capitals. They actually have the Vancouver Canucks in the Stanley Cup final. How are we playing the Vancouver Canucks? That's hilarious. First two games are at home. We get a couple wins. Head to Vancouver now. 3-0 series lead. Potential sweep here of the Canucks. Take on the Stanley Cup. And after one, we're up 1-0. Morgan Riley, 4-0 now. Yossi advantage at Kucherov. I mean, I actually only have to resume. We can just skip the period. 5-0 there. Gensel adds one. So this team does win the Stanley Cup as they should. 9-9 overall. Very surprised, honestly, by some of the teams we played. The Canucks, this like a final. The Capitals in the Eastern Conference final as well. And look at this, guys. Buffalo there picking first overall. I think Buffalo's got a very good young team. I actually picked them to make the playoffs. Uh, they lost the first two games of the year, so I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that one. But I feel like, you know, them or Ottawa, one of those two teams, definitely squeaking in. And if Buffalo added Matthew and Celebrini, they'd honestly be a dynasty in the future. Uh, right here, though, guys, your playoff scoring leaders. Matthews, 24. Kucherov, 23. Both over a point per game. We can slow down a bit. Only at 17 after leading our team in scoring the regular season. Just starting here in the playoffs, a lot better than the regular season. 9-2-6 and a 2-1-8. In terms of the playoff tree, guys, obviously we know our road to the cup, but I'm curious about Vancouver's. So they swept the Vegas Golden Knights in the first round, beat LA in five, then Winnipeg in five, uh, before getting swept by us. Unfortunately for them, they ran into a 9-9 overall team. Now team awards there, as you guys can see, clean sweep for us. We both the Stanley Cup and the President's Trophy. Individual awards, McDavid, fourth straight Art Ross Trophy, dude's a goat. He also got the heart there. Carlson, though, James Norris Trophy, back-to-back -back this time with the Penguins, very cool. Panarin Lee, Bing, Bedard got the Calder, as we expected. Kucherov, Kevin Smythe, Yorgi Vesna, and the William Jennings. Kudis there got the Bill Masterton. Capitals coach, Jack Adams. O'Reilly, Selkie Trophy, McDavid, Ted Lindsay. And then Kucherov and the Lightning got the Maestro Shard. So there's your awards, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed yet, hit sub button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.